Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wellbeing Wednesday. And as you can see, I have my green ribbon here. And this is because in the UK, this week is Mental Health Awareness Week. And the topic for this year's Mental Health Awareness Week is loneliness. So check it out. Check out the website and you'll see lots of information about how you can help others and also cope with loneliness. And in a few videos I covered different topics and connecting with friends. So definitely check those out on YouTube too. And one great way to cope with loneliness is to create new habits. So we're continuing today in this series about creating habits. Last week I spoke about how you make the habit obvious. And this week I'm going to talk about how you can make the habit attractive. But before we go into that, let's understand why we have habits. The reason we have habits is because habits actually, when we go into the chemistry of the brain, habits create a dopamine spike in our bodies. So it releases dopamine in the brain and that makes the habit something that you want to do. So basically you are addicted to it because you get this dopamine spike every time you have a cue that your habit or the thing is going to happen. So if we want to create a new habit, that's what we need to do. We need to create an environment so that the brain will release that dopamine spike and then the habit will become automatic. And one way to do that is by habit stacking. So I mentioned it briefly last week and that's basically linking a habit you do already with a new habit. But now we're going one step further. In habit stacking, you can also link something what you want with something that you need to do. So this new habit you need to exercise every morning. But in the morning, you may want to eat some snack or something nice. So you link it to that. Or for example, in the afternoon, you may like to watch your TV shows. You want to watch a TV show, but you link it to something you need to do, which is, let's say again, exercise. So you exercise and then you watch a TV show. The next thing is about culture. So we are influenced by the people and the environment we are surrounded with. So when you want to create a new habit, you need to surround yourself with people who already have that habit or is doing that habit and it's a norm for them. So the theory behind that is because we tend to follow the norm of a culture no matter where we go. That's why you have the famous saying, when in Rome, do like the Romans. And it applies in every environment. So if you want to run more often, join a group of people who run and then that will just be normal for you. And surround yourself with people who want to achieve or is aiming to achieve the same habit that you are doing. And the next thing you can do is create a motivation ritual. And that's basically what you're doing is you are actually rewarding yourself for doing the habit. So it builds up the excitement. As long as you can motivate yourself to do the thing, then it will be easier to get it done. So that's it for this evening. Thank you for tuning in. And next week, we'll talk about how you make the habit easy. And that's the third point in habit building. 
see you next week.